Captain Eric Hankel of the Fayette County Sheriff's Office CERT Soil Extraction Response Team. Your uh, soil extraction response team responds to violent inmates. If we have an inmate that barricades, we're the group that goes in and pulls them out. Our CERT team is here to help keep the jail safe. We do all the soil extraction response. Additionally, we do the uh, searches in the facility. Our CERT team currently has 14 members. Cell extractions uh, can be a very dangerous situation for both the inmate as well as staff, particularly when you're going into a cell that you don't own the territory. A lot of times inmates will slick the floor down using shampoo. The inmate's goal a lot of times is simply to injure one of our staff members. Our goal on the other hand is to go in and to safely remove the inmate without any of our staff getting injured. Additionally, we don't want to injure the inmate that the county is ultimately going to pay the medical bills on. To accomplish this, we typically look at a cell extraction and we determine what ground do we currently control. If the door is closed and the inmate is inside the cell, then we don't have active knowledge on where he might have weapons hid, if the floor is slicked down, what kind of uh, traps he may have laid out, are there biohazard issues. We use an approach where we stage up on a door, we place a shield so that the inmate cannot exit the cell and that contains the situation. From the doorway, we will give the inmate verbal commands and give them the opportunity to surrender. If the inmate chooses not to surrender, we then have less lethal technology that we're able to utilize to affect the arrest as safely as possible. That would include things such as taser, uh, we have the pepper ball system, and uh, we also utilize stun shields. One of our recent incidents that we just had was a uh, inmate that was attempting to seek drugs. This particular inmate was able to procure a rubber tray and actually succeeded in tearing a section of the tray off and then swallowing and ingesting the rubber, resulting in us having to send him out to get medical treatment. Cell phones have become a serious problem in the jails. A lot of criminal enterprises being operated from inside facilities, so we take that very seriously. So here at the Fayette County Jail, we have a cell phone detector. We utilize this system to go in and we will scan when we do a search try and find any cell phones that might be inside the facility. The inmates have learned a lot by watching the tactics that we utilize. They will attempt to find ways to counter our tactics. The uh, common trend right now to combat the use of taser, a lot of times the inmates will take a towel and they'll spin it or they'll use a mattress as a body bunker to prevent us from making entry into the cell and using a taser to subdue them. Uh, kind of the evolution there was the merging of using a pepper ball technology that we could disperse pepper spray inside the unit via the pepper ball delivery system. That enabled us to get beyond the body bunkers. As opposed to a inmate coming in that is cooperative, we may have a subject that's high risk, that's combative, and those instances will bring CERT into booking. We will send the team out, remove the inmate from the vehicle, and we'll then escort them in and assist in the booking process to ensure that we get them safely processed in. The Fayette County Jail operates a direct supervision model, so when we have those combative inmates that come in, that's when they'll contact the CERT team. We will send our CERT team members down, and it's a far more aggressive response based on the inmate's behavior. Typically when we extract an inmate from a cell, they're going to be moved to a pre-designated location. Uh, that's typically going to be up in our booking area where we have better observation uh, and they'll be moved to an observation cell. Additionally, some of these extractions may involve extracting the inmate to take them to court. We have cases where the uh, courts have requested an inmate's presence and the inmate states, I'm not going to go. When a Superior Court judge issues that invitation, uh, we ensure that it's followed. Contraband is a common problem in all jails. We bring the CERT team in on a regular basis and we will go through and do a full search of the housing unit. It enables us to go through, find items inmates aren't allowed to have, seize those, and then take the appropriate disciplinary action. The purpose of today's cell search in GPOD was uh, two rival gangs have been insinuating that they were going to have a violent episode. We wanted to ensure there were no weapons. During the search, we found a lot of nuisance contraband. We did locate uh, several of the flex pins that had been altered to stiffen them so that they could be used to stab. 
One of the things that we found today in the search was we located some jail gang graffiti. This particular graffiti uh, matched a tattoo that an inmate had on his neck. It was not a common graffiti that we would typically see, so it was pretty easy to identify which inmate was responsible for the graffiti on the walls. The inmate was moved up to our booking area, which enabled us to sit the inmate down, have him in an interview room where he's away from his associates. That gets the stigma of snitching removed to where you can talk to the inmate and find out what's going on and why they were putting the graffiti up. In this particular instance, he could be charged with interference with government property. Additionally, we can do in-house disciplinary, which can result in lockdown or loss of good time.